Yo, today we're looking at the differences between a big board and a little board and seeing maybe when you should transition from a big board to a little board. Shout out to one of the subscribers for commenting this video idea. Forget your name, I'll probably put it up here somewhere. Let's start by talking about the benefits of a bigger board. So this is basically what everybody starts out on. Typically has a longer wheelbase and it has wider trucks and typically narrow wheels like freeroid wheels or slightly wider wheels like the 72 millimeter green kevin Rammer wheels or like the venom cannibal wheels the benefit of a big board like this is that it's pretty forgiving to ride the difference between gripping and slipping isn't that abrupt v fairly forgiving you can go fast on it fairly comfortably you can do stand up slides on it fairly easily and it's generally a pretty great and enjoyable all around riding experience perfect for a beginner in my opinion but it do be having its limitations while it has like perfect tracking width with like narrower free ride wheels when you put wider wheels like these or even like the venom magnums or generally any modern downhill wheels they run very wide you don't get very good uh, turning in when you're trying to ride aggressively and they tend to chatter as well you don't get the best control in your slides now that's not to say that there's anything wrong with the setup it's just that the wheels are too wide and it really don't get the best control in my opinion they're just not the most suited to this setup and when you're trying to ride at the limit with bigger wheels you definitely can on this board but it doesn't feel as smooth and as controllable on the other board that i'm going to be talking about shortly and obviously i just want to give a massive disclaimer you don't need a board like this to do aggressive downhill there's a lot of other affordable options there's a lot of stuff you can do and you can still have a great time on a board like that but if you're looking to do a specific type of riding, these boards are typically the best for it. But if you're starting out, you don't need to make that massive upfront investment for these. And obviously, this is just my opinion. I'm probably missing out on a whole lot of stuff. So if you have any additional comments to make, feel free, comment them, add to this whole thing, and that would be much appreciated. Now, having understood a big board's benefits and its limitations, when should you start thinking about going for a board like this? So I'll give you my personal reasons why as to why I go for a board like this. So number one, I love this types of boards when I'm doing really aggressive riding on really wide wheels because mm -hmm. these boards are really nimble and really stable and they have like a pretty narrow track width that just fits like my foot like this. I tend to find that I have a ton of control of them and I tend to find that I'm able to direct my slides really perfectly with this. When I'm riding down a hill and I want to like go as fast as possible, go through corners as fast as possible and have as much control and as much smooth control as possible, uh, that's when I tend to go for boards like this. And also when I ride wider wheels, I prefer boards like this as the slides tend to be a little bit smoother and tend to feel more controllable. So yeah, riding at the limit with a board like this is just a little bit easier. Okay, a lot easier, not a little bit. Another really good reason, in my opinion, why you should get a board like this is just, it's another fun way to enjoy downhill skateboarding. This thing feels totally different to my other setups and it's been totally worthwhile in my experience to try it out, take race lines, skate aggressively, figure out a new style of riding, see if I like it and whatnot. My mind has expanded in different ways and I'm definitely a changed person after riding this board. One more thing I want to touch on, if you're a person of smaller stature, you know, smaller in height, smaller in weight, might definitely benefit from riding a shorter and narrower board. Not this exactly, but something like this. This is a narrower board compared to the other one I showed you, but it does have the same wheelbase of about 25 inches. But the philosophy is the same. It's designed to be pretty stable and easy to slide. It's just now that we have narrower trucks and pretty much the same wheels. So the idea is because you're a smaller person, you'll find a board that's narrower like this, about nine inches, easier to control than the big 9.5 inches board I was showing you guys earlier. So if you're a smaller person, you don't have to get a expensive and narrow board like the one I showed you down there. You can get a narrower free ride board like this, get narrower trucks for it, Keep those free ride wheels and you'll be able to have a much easier time controlling your board. So I think maybe that's some of the information that some of you guys may have been looking for with this video. And I hope I've, hope I've covered it. So yeah, in summary, if you want to try a different style of skating, you know, want to try a different setup, want your mind to expand a little bit, you know, tr find some other, stimulate some other areas of your brain, then uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's fair enough. Try this, man. Throw some money into this. And also, if you want to do aggressive hands down riding, these are the boards that you, it's time for you to try one of these boards. As always, thanks for watching this video. Hope it's informative. 
I'm feeling very lazy, so this is the best video you get. I hope it's informative, man. Y'all take care. Catch you in the next video.